Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. I'm Amber if you're new here and if you're returning, welcome back. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for the month of March. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, especially if the reading resonates with you. If you want to book a personal reading, you can do so on my website. The link is down below in the description box. You can visit www.unveiledbyamber.com. You can also go to my Instagram at unveiledbyamber.com and follow me if you're interested in catching different discounts, flash sales, things of that nature towards personal readings. I hope you guys had a wonderful birthday season, okay? Um, I hope that February treated you well. Um, I feel like you're in a space now where you need to get grounded, because some things have changed, it's time for you to kind of settle your spirit. Um, this is going to be a third house reading. I am focusing on the third house. It's the third month of the year. Mercury uh, rules the third house. Mercury is in retrograde, okay? Um, but overall, the third house rules our perception, our communication, the relationship that we have with the world around us, meaning your siblings, co-workers, um, your neighbors, your immediate surroundings, your immediate environment um, on a non-physical level. It has to do with like your words, your thoughts, the way that you analyze things, the way that you are communicating in a non-verbal way. All right, so... Let's get into it. Okay, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, thank you for allowing me to be the vessel to give messages to Aquarius for their highest good and their highest good only. Let's see what's going on, Aqua. Spirit, what's the strongest message for Aquarius? What's the strongest message? Okay. Trust your path. This came out in the pre-shuffle. It says, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Okay. External energies. Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. It seems like you're being gravitated towards a particular path. There's some sort of cycle that has completed. Um, I feel like you're being kind of like pushed or guided into a different direction. I also feel like there are a couple of people, a person, a situation that you've definitely left behind and you're on the brink of healing finding re, like reestablishing your inspiration definitely though that there's a need for you to get grounded okay needing to bring both of these worlds together all right let's see what else is going on why is this here for Aquarius okay wow <laughs> semi-sex style okay you have allowing this is about encouraging it's about seeing the potential in something um gaining some level of clarification this is definitely about communication you have mercury here <laughs> communication okay um it's about your words thoughts analysis information that you even receive either received or information that you are pre preparing to uh deliver it's also about a learning phase okay allowing this process to teach you what it is that needs to be taught External energy is North Node. This is about destiny, okay? Right now, the North Node is in Gemini. I would highly suggest for you to check your own North Node placement. You also have the 10th house here, okay? Re reputation, completions, things of that nature. This quite literally, whatever it is that you're learning in this process, either um, this is a passing energy, okay? Or some of you guys are behind the energy and you're going to come into this learning process, into this lesson, it is to bring you into some level of alignment. So allow it to happen. All right. Mm. What's the situation going on in this other house for Aquarius? Okay. Seven of Cups came out, flipped over, but these two came out. Hangman and the Chariot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so what I just said a moment ago about you guys needing to be grounded okay movement grounding movement grounding okay <laughs> there's there's something about needing to uh be graceful some of you guys may be dealing with a libra definitely being asked to be graceful before you move forward 
Some of you guys may feel stuck or stagnated from a direction that you want to take. It's confusing you with the Seven of Cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone who has a Venus in Scorpio, Venus in Pisces, or Cancer. This is about you getting very grounded before choosing an option. Moon on the bottom of the deck. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be of some sort of significance. But this is also about being grounded, okay? With this being the external energies, your emotions are outside of your body right now. And there's a need for you to bring them within and ground yourself, okay? Why is this here? Why is the hangman here with the chariot? Very challenging time mentally, I feel like. Tell me why this is here for Aquarius, please. Wow. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, with the Seven of Wands. Some of you guys may be moving too quickly, or vice versa for the Cross Watcher. You may feel like Aquarius is moving too quickly. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords here. Very, very fast communication. Sometimes it can be a little bit abrasive. Um, with the Queen of Cups here, though, I definitely am feeling like there's an energy of someone not being receptive. And this could be you. It could be someone else. I really feel like it is a cardinal sign. So it'd be, it could be a Cancerian, a Libra, a Capricorn, a Cancer. I already said that. An Aries. Okay. Now, your pre-shuffle, you did, you had the Knight, Knight of Pentacles, in a whole nother deck of cards, you had the Knight of Pentacles, um, had the Ace of Pentacles behind them, trying to make some type of offer to the Queen of Pentacles. So, you could have recently gotten up off your throne, or you could have made a decision to get up off of your throne to communicate with someone. Um, you could be feeling blocked or challenged by the communication that you want to give or take towards this person. How would Aquarius view the hangman here? Nine of Cups with the Page of Cups, okay? So there is some type of wish fulfillment, okay, that has come to some level of a halt because you're going from the Nine of Cups to the Page of Cups, okay? Um, you know, the Nine of Cups is about, like, knowing exactly what you want and not only knowing what you want in your mind, body, spirit, but also feeling what you want. It's a level of manifestation. Um, it's a level of getting your wish granted. But this going backwards to the Page of Cups, um, I kind of feel like someone's not being receptive. Somebody's like, no, 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 no. I don't want that offer. Um, this also may be an energy of someone thinking that you're bringing the same offer that you brought before, vice versa. Okay, Aquarius, this could be someone bringing an offer towards you. And it looks very similar to something that they may have offered you in the past. Okay, Nine of Cups to the Queen of Cups, though. It there is going to be some level of a romantic gesture that comes in. There's a lot of full moon energy here. Yeah, right now your emotions are not lining up with your actions. Vice versa, this could be someone else. Their emotions are not lining up with their actions. And so, like, the hangman... Um, with the chariot here is letting me know that the moment that someone gets grounded and actually listens to either their heart space, okay, or listens to their head space, it's one or the other, bringing them into alignment. But the moment that somebody does this, there's going to be a lot of forward movement. Tell me how Aquarius would view the chariot here, <laughs> the heart space, okay, four of pentacles. It is definitely the heart space. Someone's holding back. Yep. Knight of wands, Okay. Somebody may be being a bit like overzealous about a relationship too. What's the energy of the Knight of Wands? Knight of Swords. Yeah, someone's coming in quickly and maybe quick more 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 quick than you would prefer with the 7 of wands here it's kind of a standoffish sort of energy um how would the other party view the 9 of cups with the page of cups here 3 of swords yeah this is you kind of like no 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 
I definitely feel like this is you, Aquarius. Like, no, 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 no. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to take some time to think about that. Um, there's a need for you to surrender to something, though. How does Aquarius view the Queen of Cups? The world could be a Capricorn. Could be any of the other fixed signs, though. Strongly, I'm picking up Capricorn energy. Six of Cups, definitely someone from your past. A soulmate could be someone who has children, someone who you um, have children with. Yeah, because this, and either you're confused about why this offer is not coming through or you're confused about why this offer is not being accepted, vice versa for the other person. If this person is giving the offer, they're confused by why you're not being receptive to it. If you're giving the offer, um, Aquarius, they're confused why it took so long, whatever the case may be. What type of cycle closed out and now you're available to them? That's kind of what I'm hearing someone ask. What does this have to do with Aquarius? Yeah, Capricorn all over this, okay? But they could have like a, this could be a Capricorn rising, Scorpio rising, Cancer rising, okay? Libra rising, even Sagittarius rising. What does this have to do with Aquarius trusting their path? What do they need to trust? Justice, Okay. Libra energy, something is definitely coming into balance for you. This is a level of redemption that's taking place. It could definitely be a reconciliation. Someone wants to balance something out. Definitely get grounded. Like, that's what's going on here. She's barefoot. She has her feet, like, on the ground. Okay? With the four pinnacles here, he's doing exactly the opposite. Okay, he's not in touch with nature. He's not in touch with his feelings. He's holding back. Um, the four pinnacles for me is like, you know, like a knockoff emperor. Okay, um, someone who has not stepped into their willpower is not using their logic very well, mostly because they're closed off at the heart space. So what their heart is feeling, they're not, it's not in alignment with what they're thinking. There's a need, there's a need to bring these, these two things together. You have 11 here. Okay. You have 11 here, 11, 11, okay? Um, how would the other party view this justice? You have the devil here, again, Capricorn energy. Something is excessive. And I think that it's either your tendency to hold back or the other person's tendency to hold back is becoming a bit excessive. Yeah, Nine of Wands here. Somebody is um, a little bit fed up with like trying to bake, break through barriers or break beyond boundaries. There's a need to surrender. Okay, surrender. To your destiny. What are the hidden factors of this situation for Aquarius? Ooh, the Ace of Cups. There it is. The offer. The offer. Okay. The hidden factor is that somebody's been waiting to give you this offer, or you've been waiting to give someone else an offer. Um what's the energy of this ace of cups? Wow, the four of wands with the eight of swords. Yeah, somebody is a bit hesitant. Wow, you have the lovers here. Three of cups. Um, tell me one more thing about this ace of cups, please. The star. So what somebody wish for. That's, I mean, that's quite clear because over here, you have this nine of cups with this page of cups, but somebody is is closed off like at the heart space, like not receiving the offer. Um, possibly because there was a history of a third party situation with the Three of Swords here. This, there is a reconciliation energy. 
kind of get a vibe that someone doesn't believe that someone's done with their ex. <laughs> when I'm looking at this justice card, it's kind of like a sh show me type of vibration. Don't egg this person on because this person is like, oh, I'll show you. Okay. But the star is here with the devil. Kind of gives me a vibe of ego. What, what's, what's the energy of the devil? Yeah. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. It's it, this is definitely it, it's like not wanting, it, not bringing something into balance because someone's being a little bit like stubborn. Somebody has some type of wall up, some type of barrier, that sort of thing, blocking off a new beginning, some type of new start. All of the aces were coming out in your pre shuffle, and here they are again. Oh my gosh, with the sun, the sun, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Tower. Somebody wants the truth about something though. There is a level of communication that needs to take place before this can move forward. What's Aquarius' perception of this situation? King of Wands. Tell me one more thing about, yeah, somebody did change, okay, With the because the King of Wands is an energy of like trustworthiness, That's that sort of thing. For the King of Wands to come out after the Ace of Wands, it's like somebody is single with the Nine of Pentacles here, okay, um, something definitely did change and that's the justice in this situation, see, something came into balance, something that somebody wished for. Yeah, you have death here with the page of wands. There's some sort of good news that's coming in about something transform transforming, something being over. Could be coming from a younger person. Tell me what the communication is like. You have the lovers here as an issue. Somebody's not choosing to communicate. Somebody is not choosing to communicate. Somebody's blocked right now. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords. Like somebody's blocked. There's some sort of uh, crisis or something of that nature. You could have blocked this person on your social media. You could have like technically like blocked them from calling you, like that sort of thing. Eight of Swords is, is about bondage. Um, somebody right now is bound by the choices that they made in the past. How would Aquarius view the Eight of Swords here with lovers as an issue? Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody got left out in the cold. They took some type of loss. Seven of Pentacles with the Magician. And you're at peace. I, you know, with this Queen of Cups, she's got the, her hand over this cup. Like, no, no, no. No, thank you. That sort of thing. But I do want to let you know that whoever this person is, like, they are overflowing with joy, happiness. Um, I kind of feel an energy of, like, tears. Somebody could be crying about either the situation that they left behind or could be crying about the, the choices that they made that put them in the position that they're in with you. The Ten of Swords here. Okay, somebody wants to go back. Somebody wants to regress because we already seen death out here. Something already did transform. Tell me one more thing about um, this situation. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles with Temperance here. This person could be a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cuss. This could have been something that took place around um, anywhere between like the 23rd of November. Excuse me, all the way through, um, I want to say like the 20th of January could be of some sort of significance yeah with the two of cups you could have made this person an offer they could have made you an offer um that sort of thing somebody turned their back somebody put their back up against this situation somebody wants to take a rain check on a situation 
I don't know how many other ways I can say that. <laughs> somebody wants to take a rain check on a situation. It's like the two of cups here with temperance. It's like somebody did make some sort of offer. Like, let's be friends. Um, you know, let's let's date. Let's take this to another level. With the lovers here being an issue, like somebody realizes um, how divine the connection was. Okay, they want to fix it. They want to repair it. But now this person is... This person, either you or this person is in a space where they feel like they have to fix this themselves because they're blocked, uh, because you're not being receptive, that sort of thing. What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Two of Swords. Some sort of decision being made. Moon and Libra. Moon and Libra. Tell me one more thing about this. Wow. Three of Wands with the Two of Wands. Yeah. Th there's definitely... There's an energy of somebody being blocked. Somebody made a decision and they're standing on it. You may totally decide, like, no, I'm done with this. Bottom of the deck. You have the Ten of Wands here with the High Priestess. Remaining quiet. At peace with the choice that you've made or the choice that you will make is the vibe that I'm getting here. Like, what you say? And, <laughs> like, it's, you, I feel like you're in some level of a playful energy. You're celebrating something. Um, and somebody's been left out of this celebration. What's the energy of the lovers, please? Yeah, you have the three of cups here with the three of swords. Somebody made the wrong choice. And you're okay with that. Here you are. King of swords. There you are, Aqua. Moving on. That's what happened here. Moving right along. <laughs> Let's get you some advice. What's the advice for Aquarius? Well, a fiery climax approaches. Uh-huh. It's time to take action. You have new moon and full moon. This is the completion of a cycle. For sure. Okay. Definitely a completion of the cycle. The answers you need are coming. Mm-hmm. All right, Aqua, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave uh, comments. I would love to know um, if this resonates with you or not. If you would like to book personal reading, you can definitely do so on my website. Um, love and light to you guys. I'll see you next month. Bye.